and some of the more recent Knowledge Seekers workshop videos, as well as the Plasma Reactor Group videos, we've noticed some questions coming up about the potential for plasmatically coating nanocoating wires using electricity and plasma. We believe that we've achieved this using cell phone chargers making our GANs. It appears that the negative wire of this cell phone charger has turned a dark color. Almost a lighter black, the powdery black like Mr. Kesh described the plasmatically coated wires. As a control, we found the same cell phone charger never been used in GAN's creation. The negative terminal is still very shiny copper. These cell phone chargers are ZTE adapters. They run at 5 volts, 700 milliamps. To create our GANs with these cell phone chargers, we've used Radner copper coated gouging electrodes. 5 16th of an inch one foot long. Stepped on one, broke it to this length accidentally and decided that this was probably a pretty good length for making our GANs. It exposed the inside of the carbon rod. And using a technique that we learned from Don and John in Carrie Ellis's video, we dissolved the copper from the electrode by placing it, placing two of those electrodes, one on the negative, one on the positive, and the positive electrode, the copper coating dissolves. Over here is the actual electrode that we used that copper coated those wires. Here's the actual piece of wire and alligator clip we used in our GANS process and you can see the negative wire is very well coated in this uh, on this wire too where we stripped it back we um, in order to figure this all out we had made we had dissolved the copper from the electrode made ourselves a copper electrode like we heard it was good to make GANs with made a zinc GANs with that a couple batches actually and the copper GANs a couple batches of copper GANs with electricity and we decided then to add in the fan between the wires to make more of a CO2 GANs instead of a instead of a zinc GANs. So when we stripped that insulation back we saw that the wire had become dark like that and decided that it is possible to create a nano coating on the negative wire during the GANs making process when using carbon electrodes. Our ultimate conclusion is that the plasma flows up from the GANs water back into the wire during the GANs creation. So we hope this can add to the knowledge and people can attempt to experiment with this technique and see if they can duplicate these results and attempt to create a plasmatically coated, nano-coated wire. We appreciate your time and love you all. God bless.